Alright, so, Yoaka, playing with a friend, he told me that my wake-up options were really poor. What can I do rather than block, backdash, super mash, and die? So, you play Geo, right? Am I on, am I on crack for this? Did I forego who you play? You know, let's just pick Soul for this, because we had Soul earlier. Because why not, right? You you say your wake-up options are bad. Okay, okay. So, I, I'll just tell you how I think about it. And how I think about the wake-up. And what I do to avoid, like, getting hit or, um... Basically, how, how I can get out the corner. And, and to be fair, defense in this game is very, very hard. Because nobody really tells you. Or there's not really a straight indicator that tells you you're able to mash here. Right? Like, everything is frame data. You have to, like, learn it. But it, a lot of it comes down to uh, mind games. So let's say... What he's gonna do now is he's just gonna throw me. Right? And afterwards, we can mix it up. So there's a couple of options where he would either mash on block, throw you again. Yada, yada, yada. Right? So the thing you have to keep in mind when you're in this position is first of all you're fucked. Like, there's rarely ever anything you can do when you're in the corner. It is like one of the worst positions to ever be in. And a lot of the characters in this game have insanely good pressure. Geo, Soul, Happy Chaos, you know, like the, the list goes on and on but those are just to name a few, right? Who have insanely cl good pressure close up, right? Like they're here and then it's, it's pretty much like you have to make a guess on how you can get out. And one of the best ways for me to get out the corner is to literally just see which pattern they give me. Yeah, so let's say for example, after wake up, he always fucking like does a block string, right? Like this, one, two, three. Like he does like this combo immediately and then like gun flame or something. All you have to be aware of is the fact that he always does this immediately which allows you as a Giovanna to either A, block it, right? Just just block it and wait it out till like a better opportunity comes to you like this. Like Gunflame, for example, you can jump over. So if you have the information that, okay, he always does one, two, three, and then a special, then you at least know that he will not go for shit like this, where he just mashes far slash, or that he will go for shit like this where he like, does fight like far slash into like delay i think that's very like very very important to see because that that shows you when you can get out and how you can get out so like one of the best ways for me to assess if a soul is going to be mashy or not is after a throw if you do a double close slash so you do this and then that right but did you fucking know you can just back dash this like no no kidding like you can i can literally just record this right yeah, like right here, you saw that? Like, I could literally backdash it, and then I can hard punish. That's like one of the few, like, tricks you can see in, like, matchups, where it's like, if they mash a button, like, repeatedly, usually you can backdash it, because you're still invincible. Yeah, find a pattern. Essentially, that's like the, the biggest the biggest way to know, unless something is reactable, right? But I can just put it from my perspective, right? From, like, the one who's attacking. What I am looking for in my opponent is I want them to mash. Right? And as soon as they stop mashing, I will try to throw them. That's how I think about it. Let's say I am the one who attacks you, right? And your wake up, I know your wake up options are dog shit. Um, so what I would do is after this, I would try to put you in a blender here, right? With CS, 5HCS. Like this is a true thing, right? Let me hit this. This is true. Like you, you can't escape this, essentially. Like, this is the best you can do as soul, you can trade with me here, and that's like about it. That's as far as you can go. Anyone who has a frame 4 button cannot interact with us, they all get hit. So let's have him like do, for example, unblock, uh, or like after recovery, let's have him do 5p, and you will see that he can't do it anymore. One, two, boom. You see? What I do when I'm the one attacking is I throw you, I put you in this blender, I see you mashing, I won. Let's say you don't mash. I don't win here. But now I, I have a fuck ton of options to do, right? Now it all comes down to what I think you're gonna do here. And how you like assessed trying to press when I was like doing a block string. So let's say right here I do close slash, delay 2s, delay 5h, delay 214k. This just showed me that no matter what I do, you will not press a button here. You didn't press a button four times. Not here, not here, not here, and not here. That either gives me information on two things. Either A, you're really defensive, or B, you're a fucking pussy. And the second part is usually what people are. A fucking pussy. 
So what that allows me to do is I can do this. I can start a throw here. I can start a throw here. And I can do a throw here. I can do it literally anywhere, right? And now that gets the, the person who is defending to think, fuck, I have to do something. After a throw, they're gonna start doing something. Right here. They're gonna st be more hectic and do like mash like a DP, mash a super. And the reason I know this is because I got them into the mindset of throwing. Right? And even if they don't, it doesn't matter. I still win. Like, even if they don't, it just shows me that they're even worse of a pussy. Like, let's say they don't mash here at all. Alright, next time I throw you, I'm gonna do this. One, two, throw. Alright, you don't mash anymore, anymore anyway. Let's do it right here, right? Because 5 PCS is also a string that I can do. So I, I would just do throw instead. Because I know you're not gonna press. And at some point, the health bar gets low, and they panic, and they're gonna start pressing. And that's how you have to think about it when you're defending. What does my opponent want me to do? And you always do the opposite. That's usually how it goes. So let's say in this case, I want you to block because I made it clear that you're a pussy. So I want you to block this and then I will throw you. So what do you do in this case? You press 2k. You press 2k to get off of me. You fucking tech throw, you jump, you backdash. You do whatever you need to do in the, in the matchup. This is where matchup specific shit comes in. Where it's like, okay... I now know my opponent will always try to do this because I don't press a button. Haha, -ha, or they have done it a couple of times. So this tells you the following, right? This tells you literally the following. If you do this... I'm fucked. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can Omega hard read this, be like, I always know you throw here. And guess what? I'm on the other side of the screen because of it now. It's risky, don't get me wrong, but that's what a hard read's supposed to be. If you know for a fucking fact that I will do this, nothing stops you from supering right here. At all. And the same goes for me actually delaying a button. So let's say you think I will not even throw you, I'll just delay a button. This already hits. And so does other things. So do other things. So does 6P in, in some cases. Depends on how far I delay it. So does DP. So does backdash. So does super. And this is how I get away with supering so much. Right? Because I just fucking know. I just know for a fact. You little pussy will mash. And guess what? It's finally your turn. You're so emotionally invested into this fucking hit that you've been trying to get on me for a fucking hour. Guess what I'll do? Yeah, lick my fat fucking Austrian meatballs. In particular, mine. Not even another guy's. My fat Austrian meatballs. I don't give a fuck. Like, basically, this just allows you to open up the floodgates and the mind games, right? Because then you get away with a lot more shit right here. When you're here and you already, like, do this type of shit on them, like, you you reversal them because you're, like, you, you're blocking, like, you're, sorry. Uh, your block string ain't shit. And you reversal them. Like, what do you think they're gonna start doing? Like, 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 think about it. What do you think they're gonna start doing? They're gonna start pressing less buttons. They're gonna start being more aware of the fact that I will super. So then what do you do? Right here. Like, let's say he stops doing this, right? What do you do then? I'll give you some time to think about it. Throw? That's one option. Yeah. You can now start doing a throw backwards and reverse the situation. The other, which is safer uh, in some, is to just jump out. Or, like, press a button, you know? Because for because when you do a, a throw, you're still committing to something, right? Like, you're dashing and throwing. The, a safer option would be to just do this. Or that. Right? Where it's like, oh, okay. Like, it's my turn now. And you can take your turn back here. Because you know he won't do anything. And then you can throw if you, if you realize he will not mash anything. You know, literally, like, let me talk about this while I'm on defense, right? Like, when I'm on defense, I'll just tell you what I think about... Yeah, like you can like now that I've explained it to you, you can see how I, how I operate on defense. And to be fair, defense is not my strong suit, but it's still something I gotta know, right? Yeah, like his turn is over. Now it's my turn, and then he does some bullshit. Like I just, I'm just patient. Like you're not gonna throw me. You're not gonna do anything. I just, all I see is you pressing buttons on me. You have no idea what you're doing. 
I won. GG, next. Like, he had one chance. And and he wasted by just pressing buttons in the gun slam, and then he jumped fucking back like an idiot. And there was no point for him to do either of those things. No, I always use JH. Why would I use JD? The fuck? You're dead. See, like, I know this guy always mashes, so I supered. I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Even if... Even if my super was wrong, I had full bar and burst. I had nothing to lose while doing that, at all. Now he's gonna mash again, I get gold burst, now he's gonna fucking move. He just, this guy is not a, this guy is not a pussy, this guy is beyond scared, he's helpless. Like, he's literally clueless. He jumps around, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, now he's gonna fucking DP probably. Oh, never mind. he pressed the button right after though. And that's how I won. Like, like, literally just him being fucking mashy as hell. It already worked. Yeah, like, he just jumps around and does random shit. There's literally no point. Yeah, DP. Like, to me, like, my, my assessment of him is what it resorts to is him. He will always try to, like, do something. And that gives me enough information on just pressing buttons on him. Because I know he's going to go for it again. Right here. Again. He doesn't care. And that's fine because you know what? I also don't care. I'm not. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I don't give a fuck. I'll, I'll heap my fucking ground and I'll just win against him by doing this. Like I'll continue to do this and I'll just win because of this one interaction and one poor habit that he has, which is just mashing, no matter what, every time. He's gonna mash. Oh, he didn't. All right, is it now your turn to mash? It is! It is! It is good, sir! It's your turn to mash! Go off, king! Go off! Tell the world about it, you see? Like, it's not hard once you realize it. Because because once you're on the receiving end, you'll think the same way. You're like, D I probably shouldn't mash every time, huh?